Alrighty, we're back at it for another walk around video. Um, this time we have the black extra cab, 87 extra cab in, but this is what you would expect to see when you look at this body. It's an RC four wheel drive chassis. It is a full leafed rig. I have done the red soft leaf springs. Um, I've deleted the front shocks because honestly, I just haven't gotten any 70s in yet. Um, I robbed the front to put in the back because the 90s were just way too long for the rear. Um, you know, performance is performance. I do have the rear roll bar on order. It will be here. I got all the KC lights for it. Once it gets in, boom, it'll have that. So that is one scale thing that is missing right now. This is what I've gotten so far on the wiring for the engine bay. I have the scale, so you can get it a guy a little closer for you. Got the scale battery terminals, the wiring. Um, painted everything up to be all nice. Um, just waiting for the interior dress-up kit that they have. Um, I have it on the white. If you watch that video, the white extra cab, it has everything that RC 4 wheel drive offers for the interior, engine bay interior. So, now, working our way on back. Interior, got some scale stuff in there, CB radio, painted a dog that I found at the craft store to look like my poodle, Snoopy, that if you watch the white X87 video, Snoopy was in that video. So this interior's got some blue bolstering seats on the on the bench there. Um, everything else is pretty much, you know, did nice silver, silver gray, whichever one you want to call it, colorblind, pretty sure it's like a gray. Um, so it still has potential. Um, I don't have too much runtime on this one yet. Um, I did pick this up in December. Um, local friend had one and he just was ready to let it go on. It had no runtime. It was out of the box sitting on a shelf. So I got it. I took the leaves off. They were all not broken. Got me a, let's see here. So that is my pile of leafs that I take off because you just don't need all of them RC four wheel drive. You need one helper and then a big boy. And I recommend getting these red ones now that I have. I mean, look at that. It's almost bouncy like the FJ40 and that's a linked double spring rig. The front, very stiff. Um, I've, con I've contemplated on taking out that helper leaf that I put in there. <sighs> Sorry, guys. So, I don't know. I don't want to break the red. I've heard a lot of people break these. Um, so, I'm going to leave it. Um, with no shock, it does allow some travel. Um, I did just switch to the RC four-wheel drive tires here. Um... You know, they've been sitting on the shelf for a while, and I wasn't sure what I wanted to put. 1.7s. Not many rigs look good with 1.7s, in my opinion. Um, also, this five-screw hub is not a hex. It is a pin. So, most of my wheels all take hex. You know, that's, that's how it should be. Um, but these wheels did not have that ability and I just have not bought the adapted hubs for them. So, I'm running them on this. I took the 155s off. I'm liking it. They fit well. Um, I, I don't have any rubs. I haven't had to trim anything. This is all still factory. I love it. My idea for this rig was a basic trail rig. Um, scale duffel bag. This does have a tire tool. The 
special tool for the front and rear nuts if I have to take those off on the trail. I do plan to put some more stuff in here, um, such as some spare Allens. Um, I do have this guy. He's got the hitch in there, you know, traction board, fuel, fire extinguisher, the basics that you have to have. Come on, propane. There we go. That bottle must be getting close to empty. I have to shake it. So, that much, as much as I've done to this, it's mainly just scale touches, cleaning it back up, because it was very dusty. It was very dusty from sitting on the shelf. Um, doing my own little twist on things. The suspension, yes, you have to do those types of things with these re leafed rigs. Um, other rig example, the Midnight. I did the Terraflex kits for the rear. Whoa, there we go. So, it has an unbelievable amount of travel, and I have that on my white Mojave as well. I wasn't going to do that with this. I wanted to have a full leafed experience and, you know, just learn to enjoy it. Um, I'm leaving that bumper. These are the metal bumpers. So I'm leaving that bumper hitch hooked up so that way I could possibly tow either the white, that guy, the white Mojave, or just any of the other insane crawler rigs instead of using the hauler. Um, the hauler is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I love the hauler. We'll do a walk around on it. I'm sure you'll all love the hauler as well. They're beast of rigs. Um, let's get you a, whoa. Get you a rear view here. So yeah, like I said. <laughs> She's bouncy. But it just looks so great going down the trail. Got the scale exhaust. You know, as always, got to have the bent up exhaust pipe, you know. But yeah, going to leave this, this bumper. I'm not going to put a different bumper on it. I like this. But yeah, um, you know, let me know in the comments which extra cab is your favorite. The white on the TRX4 or the good old RC four-wheel drive TF2 in its glory. You know, it is just these rigs. You can't beat them propane tank is getting empty you just can't beat them when it comes to the scale you know it's just there i wish i had one of these in real life just end of the day i got a bunch of corollas i wish i had me a toyota big up so when it comes to electronics on this it has a rc four-wheel drive esc they're waterproof they got the switch on them they work um, I definitely plan to put an ESC 70 in it just because I love those ESCs. All right, I'm done with this here. Off you go. I'm sure you like that anyways. It is a lot quieter. I don't have to talk so loud. So I do plan to put an ESC 70 in this. It still has the 45 turn RC four wheel drive um, motor in it 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 rips their motors are very torquey hey look i actually have one on the shelf this came out of the fj40 that i put a 21 turn in it yep yeah, she's a rocket so that's kind of the base for this it's going to get that roll bar the kc lights it's going to look scale it's going to look just like the Back to the Future rig. I'm leaving all the Back to the Future logos, the license plate, all that. It's going to look like Marty's truck with just some different wheels. Um, I mean, they're still skinnies. It's, it's, it's close enough, all right? This thing is awesome, though. I have always loved the look of that ever since I watched the movies. So... I, you know, I saw the opportunity to get my hands on marty's truck and marty 
will probably be joining the fleet, you know, in the group. Um, Mando will have to step aside from being, you know, the the cool guy in the garage, and Marty will take his spot, I'm sure. <laughs> you just never know. I love the, the little dog. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Like I said, I'm always, I always love your guys' feedback. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this one was kind of bland because I haven't really done too much, but more to come. Thanks, guys. See you on the trail.